As Duke Ellington said, he was born poor, died rich, and never hurt anyone on the way. Louis Armstrong didn't invent jazz, nor was he its first significant figure. And it's not even right to call him the first great jazz soloist, as many critics and scholars have done. Sidney Bechet, the New Orleans clarinetist who was four years his senior, preceded him by a decade, while Bix Beiderbecke started winning national recognition at the same time as Armstrong, almost to the month. So what was it that made Louis Armstrong stand out? And why is his name known still to those who know nothing else about jazz? The simplest explanation, and up to a point the best one, is that he was the first great influence in jazz. No sooner did he burst upon the scene than other musicians, trumpeters, saxophonists, singers, started imitating him. I tried to walk like him, talk like him, eat like him, sleep like him, said Rex Stewart who replaced Armstrong in Fletcher Henderson's band. Now, needless to say, I'm not the first person ever to have written an Armstrong biography, but I am the first Armstrong biographer to have had access to 650 reel-to-reel -reel tapes that Armstrong made during the last quarter century of his life, many of which contain astonishingly candid recordings of his private after-hours conversations. Even in his own time, he was widely misunderstood, often by people who should have known better. To understand him now, we must see him as he was, a black man born at the turn of the century in the poorest quarter of New Orleans, who by the end of his life was known and loved in every corner of the earth. He admitted that his music mattered more to him than anything else, even his wives. He said, when I pick up that horn, that's all. The world's behind me, and I don't concentrate on nothing but it. That my living and my life, I love them notes. That's why I try to make them right. See? One of Armstrong's favorite songs, and one whose lyrics summed up his philosophy of life, was On the Sunny Side of the Street. That was the side of the street he walked his whole life long. Dorothy Fields wrote the words, and they could easily have served as Louis Armstrong's epitaph. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. <laughs> 